Hey guys and welcome to a new Panda Film tutorial and in this tutorial I'm going to be talking to you about actions and droplets. An actions is a set of instructions you can make Photoshop follow on its own where you show it what to do first and then you can just hit play whenever you need to use the action and it will repeat those steps on whatever project you want to use it in. And a droplet is basically an action where you can use it outside of Photoshop. It's a small EXE file on PC which you just drag documents onto, JPEG, GIF, PNGs, whatever, just drag them onto and it will apply those actions to it. So first I'm going to show you how to make an action. Now actions are really easy to make. If you don't have the little play button here, which is what the action symbol is, go to window and actions or you can hit alt F9. And now we're going to go to this little icon here, which looks like new layer. Click it for a new action. I'm going to name this re whoops, resize 50%. Let's make it orange and hit record. So now it's recording. You can now go to image. Whoops. Image size. Put these on to percent. Constrain proportions. And put in 50% is half of a hundred funnily enough so that will halve any resolution image just hit ok and that has been performed and it's been saved in the action as you can see here you can just drop this down you can see width 50 percent with constrained proportions now we can hit stop and that action has been saved so let's just close this document without saving reopen this check the image size 3000 by 2000 apply this and as you can see it's been halved so now we've covered how to make the action we can go over how to make it a droplet that's even easier basically highlight the action you want to use go to file automate and create droplet this window will appear and this allows you to create the droplet. You want to choose where you want to save the droplet. I'm going to my graphics, droplets, resize. I've already made a droplet, but I'll just replace it. Find which action you want to use. You've already selected it, so that's no problem. And then down into the destination bit, we have none, save and close, and folder. We're going to choose folder. We're going to choose our folder, that graphics drive, resize, and name this resize outputs. Hit OK. And then you have file naming. Now, this might get a little complicated, but it's really easy. For me, I like to use the date, then a hyphen, then the document name, and then the extension be it GIF, JPEG, PNG, whatever. If you're not using one digit one digit serial number or serial letter, you needn't worry about the starting serial number bit here. Here you have the compatibility tick boxes. This is so you can make other droplets for other operating systems. So you can have a Mac OS droplet and a Unix droplet. You have errors here. I'm going to go log errors to file. I'm just going to name this errors. Hit OK. And now our droplet has been made. Let's go into our folder here. We've got our droplet here. And our outputs folder. So now if I drag this onto the droplet. We'll go through that in Photoshop. Reopen our folder. And here you can see the file has been halved. As easy as that. So that's how you make actions and droplets. Now I use actions and droplets for nearly everything. I haven't found a way how to export uh, actions from CS5 yet into CS6 but the procedure is exactly the same between them both so if you're using older versions of Photoshop you've got nothing to worry about. So thanks for watching this tutorial. As always you can go to my website for the written version of this. Don't forget to subscribe, rate 
and comment below. So thanks for watching.